Welcome to today's coding lesson. We are most privileged to have Andrew Wilson, an eight-year-old. Andrew is very excited to show off what he knows in Scratch. And what I find most interesting is his excitement about transferring knowledge and techniques to other people. And here it's the knowledge and techniques of Scratch. It's most exciting to have learners like Andrew around us. And we're most privileged to have him here teaching as well. My name is Aaron Bradley and I teach at Brian Evan Primary School, which is a school in South Africa. And we are engaged in a program to try to promote coding at our school. And we're looking forward to hearing from you and gaining your support in this regard. Okay, hello everyone. Today we're going to learn to how to make a big maze project so you can you'll be able to change costume change sprite and it will change backdrop please log in and get a new project starting okay as usual we always start with this with this code called when green flag clicked so we'll put that into the code section. Then we'll say, go to looks, and we'll say, switch backdrop to backdrop one. So first of all, I need to go to backdrops, so I can make new backdrops. So, Okay, so now, so now, if, if, if you see here, it says text, when you go to backdrops, and then say, it says text down here. So then you click here, we don't want purple, so we're going to go with black. We're going to make something else, so use, so you're going to type in, so type in use one, then put in a comma, two, comma, three, comma, four, comma, five, comma, and then you put in and. Six chain to change back drop to either back. Drop one, three, four. Oh, thank you for correcting my spelling, Matthew. Four, comma, five, and six. So, not and or six. There and now go to select that, move it up a little if you want. Move it up if you, move it up a little if you would like, and then go down, go back to text, go down to the bottom, and then type press D. When you are done reading, okay, there, move it down a little if you would like, there, so that's how it will look when, when you're doing it, then go back to code, sprite one, 
I'm going to change the name of my sprite to cat. And then, uh, let's see. Oh, I forgot to do something. What? No, it's not there. You need to also put in. Hide. So you don't want to see it when you start the game over there. You don't want to see it there. So then, that's our code so far. When click, when flag click, switch back to back to one. Hide. Then go down to control. Get get if something then statement out. And go to sense in if key key D pressed then we need to switch backdrop uh, now we need to go back to backdrops we need to make another backdrop. Let's go with paint. So you see, it says choose a backdrop and go to paint. And then you'll see what it says this. Okay. Uh, now you can you can either get us you can either get uh, made from the internet. Uh, so you go onto the internet, search maze, and then and then copy the one that you would like to copy, and paste it over here. So let me show you how you do that. Maze, enter, then go to images. Uh, I'm gonna go with this one here and then you say you would like to copy the Im wait you would like to copy the image as save image as and I'm just gonna put it somewhere around here I'm gonna go Maze for for scrap, and then I'm gonna go save. That I'm gonna go back to this area here. Okay, and then you can, and then you say upload a backdrop pictures. See, it says it shows up here. So I'm going to press that and then here it's going to show up there okay uh, okay I'm going to make this a bit bigger and then you can make it bigger there okay, go to paint there actually go to text and in the middle of and in the middle over here type in the letter F there in the middle of your maze or at the end of your maze and then over here at the start and where your start of the maze is write S okay and that's how it will look from now on and there so just put your S a blow up if you would like to I'm not going to call it maze for scratch. I'm going to call it maze like that. Okay. Here we go. So back up one. It says use. You know what we typed in, and then this is the maze one. And now I'm going to draw a maze. Wait. Okay. There. 
go to the next backdrop here and then you can make whatever maze you would like but I don't want it to be so small like that I'm gonna make it bigger up to 20 the size of it will be 20 you can draw it however you would like I'm gonna draw mine like this a straight line go with a non straight lines basically how I'm doing it right now like this free-handed now in a maze you always see a dead end if you go the wrong way so you also have to make a uh, dead end if you want to make it a dead end so they don't so they can't find the way through to so make it harder for them if you would like okay and so if you're gonna copy a maze like this one over here you can also add more details if you would like like I'm adding detail to this maze here there okay so you can see I didn't draw any lines of, on the border here so that's what I'm gonna do with this box over here oops okay Okay, there. Now I need the box from this corner there to there. As you can see, it won't show up. As you can see, it, it doesn't really show up on the normal screen over here. So I'm still going to leave it just like that. So we have one maze, two mazes. And at the, as at the top, you see, it says costume and it says backdrop two. You can change the name of your backdrop. So I'm going to call it maze two. This is maze. This is maze one. This is maze two. And I'm still gonna make something else. So let's go to code. Let's go to the code. So as you can see, we have one clicks. Switch backdrop to backdrop one. Hide. If key defects, then switch backdrop to next backdrop. Let's go to looks. Go down. To here as you can see I took hide here so when we switch back up to there it will hide but I want show so you can play the game so it's back up to next backdrop show oh and also we need it to go to the start of the maze which will be somewhere around there which will be somewhere over here uh, so I'm going to do that a bit later. So if key D press, then switch back up to next backdrop. Show. Okay. So now we're going to add in the forever statements, and we're going to put in. Going to do. You can. You can put. Going to put two of those in like that. Just put these, just put, just take out four more if statements or duplicate four if statements like that. Just leave them on the side for now. We're not going to need them for now. Okay, and then you see I put these two if statements, if 
something then statements over here and what you're going to do take them put them like that and put them in this forever loop okay and go to sensing then you go to sensing if key space pressed but this way duplicate four of these key, key space pressed there put this one as left this one right this one up and this one down so put the left arrow at the top the right arrow underneath it over there up over there down over there okay and now we have those put in this if statement over there that if statement over there take these two if statements down and put them in the up arrow and down arrow and now go to motion as you can see we put in a left arrow right arrow up arrow and down arrow so first of all let's go to the left arrow and right arrow left arrow and right arrow are change x so we go down here to change x by 10 put that one there one there and then i'm just gonna see if this works um there i'm just gonna see if this works for now hmm seems that i pressing seems that i'm pressing done but it doesn't work let's go back up to the code Ah, this is also supposed to be in the forever loop. There. Yep, it works like that. Now let's make it smaller and stop. Okay. Okay, then like that. And we, before we're gonna, and then we're gonna put in a next costume over there, next costume over there. And then you see, I put in another if something then statement in here. Just uh, go to sensor now. And then if, so, and then go take out the touching color, some, any color you, you want it to be. Duplicate that, put it in each one. Now you see it says this down here. This is so you can see so you know how I put this over here? You can you can get the color that you want from this backdrop. So as I see as you see, I'm getting it from here. Like that. You go over the color you want. Not white, black. There. So it goes black black. Uh, and now we also want that to be black, all the way black. Okay, there. So if touching color black, then you go back to motion, motion, go to, take out another change X, duplicate that put one in here so you see you see how i put right arrow change x by four now we're going to do it by minus four and now same for y but except we put in minus four so now we put in so now we put in in four okay 
Now we're going to go down to up arrow and down arrow. Now, the up arrow and down arrow aren't X like we did for the left arrow and right arrow. It's Y over here, down below. Set X to 109. So take out that, put it under there. Go to looks, take out the next costume over there, like that. And so if you don't want the next costume to be in it, you don't have to have it. Uh, and also if, and we added the if statements, just as the right arrow and the left arrow, as you can see here, we put in that over there. We're gonna do the same for the up arrow and down arrow. Let's change the color. Uh, I remember what the color was, so if you don't, you can k take it again. There, put it in the, one of the if statements. Do this. Do the same for this one. There. Put it in the other if statement. Okay, now as you see, we did change y by 10. We're gonna do, you're also gonna get out a change y by 10. But we're gonna put it in the if touching black statement. See there? Now, let's see, I need to test it a little. So if I put in minus four, uh, just a sec. There. So see, there's the scratch cut, I think. Uh, now I need to make it show because it's hidden by, right now. So I might take a bit more of time than I thought. There. Let's just see if I press up arrow, down arrow. See you there? Now let's see. No, that's wrong. It goes up if I do that for. Wait, let's see. Did I do it in the up? Wait, that's right. Now we're going to do it for if touching cut a black. Now. We're gonna put in the, now we're gonna put in four because that's minus four, this is four. And now, minus four because we put in the, for the top bit, four. Hmm. Oh, I did the wrong way around. This is supposed to be minus four for the down arrow and four. And for the up arrow, it's supposed to be four and minus four. Like that. Like that, see? Now the scratch card is moving. And you see it isn't touching the card, the black. See? And it's going up when you press the up arrow and down arrow and it goes side to side when you press the left and right arrow. See, and so as you can see, while I'm pressing the up arrow and down arrow, you can see it's changing costume. See, costumes. So you see how this one is flat on the ground and while well, this one is running like it's, so when you, so when you do that, it looks like it's running. Okay, see, gonna do it again. See how it does it? See? Now, let's go out, go to code. Okay, let's stop it. 
Now, as you can see, it's so big, but we don't want it to be so big, so we're going to change the size. Just hang on a minute. Mr. Bertie, so how do you change the size? You can so change size. Uh, so there now I'm going to change it to about let's see I'm going to change it to I'm going to change it to 19 let's see how small that is that's a bit too small so I'm going to change it to 25 let's see if that works no nope. I think I got the wrong kind of maze, but I'm going to make it smaller now. Uh, I'm going to make it 10. Let's see if that works. D. Yeah, it works. See how it move, it's moving around? You can't really see the scratch cat, but when you check... But I'm going to change something about this. So I suppose you start over here. See how it, I put it here. I'm going to move it a little. There. Now I'm going to go to motion. Go, go to the top. Top. And then, wait, not too far to the top. Uh, then I need to say, so if key D pressed, then switch backdrop to next backdrop. Show, go to minus 226 and Y 161. So now I'm going to go to the next backdrop for now. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we did that. So it's called Maze 1. And you see how it's called Backdrop 1. I'm going to call it Words. Because as you see on the backdrop, it has words on it. Look, it has words. So I'm going to call it Words. So now, Code. Just a sec. Then I'm going to go to that. Go, going to go to cat. So switch back up to words. Hide. If key D press, then switch back up to maze one show go to two minus 200 and wait that's the wrong space i need to take that out yeah it goes to the wrong place just a sec it's supposed to start There. It's supposed to start there. Where it is right now. Over there. So, I'm going to put that back. And it now says, go to X 150 and Y minus 135. So, there. Put that in if PD press then. Put that over there in that if statement. Uh, now... We need to change it. Now, as you see, it just says S and F. Now, we're going to go to Backdrop. Uh, 
uh, here. And now I'm gonna put in a square. Uh, now I'm gonna just gonna take purple there like that and just put it in the corner over there if you have a corner over here like that and then go back to the code and uh, go to the bottom over here uh, over here and then Go to, uh, go to control and get out an, another if statement and then another touching color uh, thing uh, and then same as we did last time, go onto this button here and get the purple over here, over here, there. Then, switch, switch back, backdrop to maze 2. Now we don't, now, if we go to backdrops, you see I'm only doing paint. So we don't want it to just, to just be like that. I'm going to go to choose a backdrop. Let's go down. Let's, let's select flowers. You can choose any other black backdrop if you would like. So flowers. Uh, down here. See how many backdrops I have. One, two, and th three, and four. So now we're going to also make a maze over here. Okay. There, now, you can start any way you would like and put in the motion block that we did. So there, I'm gonna go like, I'm gonna go like, but I need to make it bigger because I don't want it to be 10. I'm gonna go to 20 as like last time. And I'm gonna paint. You can paint any other maze or you can also copy a maze and put it on the flowers if you would like you can do that i have not tried that before but would like if you would like to do it you can if you would like i'm not i'm not telling you that you have to paint on the flowers one or any other backdrop you can you can copy a maze or you can paint a maze on any backdrop you would like as you can see i put in a a copied maze on maze one then maze two I drew a maze so maze two and then for flowers I'm also drawing a maze so as he as I told you before you should make dead ends because it's a maze and dead ends are in mazes as you would see would see in a normal maze because this is just like a normal maze except it's drawn by me there you can put anything it you can put any dead ends in any in any direction like I put in a dead end diagonally like that see you can put it in any direction I'm not forcing you to do it straight you can do it however you would like now you see here you see how it, it shows on here you don't want it to be you don't want the stretch cut to be over there so just a sec.
I'm going to get a box outlined. There, so it's now outlined. So you have to try and get through it. As you can see, I can't get through there. So, gone to erase. As you can see, it turns it white. See there? But that does not matter. You can still have it like that. Uh, and now we can go back to paint. See there? Like that. And now the scratch cat can't be there. So I'm going to make it start up here. Go to code. But first uh, we need to... Go here, then we need to make somehow to get through it. So, we're not going to do purple. We're going to do a different color this time. And I'm going to make it over here. Like that. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to code. Go to the bottom. Control. If. Sensing. Touching color. Going to search it on the backdrop there. Like that. And then, then go to looks. Up, switch backdrop to flowers like that so also up here it says untitled I'm going to change the name of the, so you see up here it says untitled that's the name of your project so if you you can change the project the name because you don't want it to be untitled so I'm going to change it to Mace 2.2, like that. Now it changes to Mace 2.2, like that. And now you see, that's how far I'm going to get for today. This is my tutorial 1. I'll continue tomorrow for tutorial 2. Thank you for watching. We'll we'll c carry on tomorrow.